All right, I have a question for you. Is this a right angled triangle? Now, I know it kind of looks like it is, but hopefully you remember from a previous video, unless there is the little square box in this bottom corner to represent a 90 degree angle, then we don't assume that it's a, a right angled triangle, okay? However, we can go ahead and prove this mathematically, whether it is or it isn't, and I'm gonna go through the process right now. In this video, in this triangle, rather, I have a length of six for this side, a length of eight for this side, and my longest side, now remember if this was a right angle triangle, this longest side would be called the hypotenuse. Okay, and this is always the longest side, it's always, always the one opposite the right angle. So let's assume for a minute that it is, but we're gonna prove it mathematically. Hopefully you remember from a previous video, which I will link in the description called the three, four, five triangle, this Pythagoras theorem, this very famous mathematical theorem that says, well, if you square, whoops, that says if you square uh, the length of one side and you add it to the square of the other side and you add them together, you'll get the square of the longest side. You can check that out in the other video if you're not sure. But basically what we did in that video was we took one side and squared it, we added it to this other side and squared it, and showed that it equaled this longest side or the hypotenuse squared. So let's put the, our, our numbers from this triangle into this formula. One of our sides is six, so I'm gonna do six squared. The other, shortest, the other short side, so these are the two shorter ones. The other side was eight, so eight squared equals the hypotenuse, in this case, 10 squared. If those two things are true, if this actually is true, if this side does actually equal this side, then it is a right angle triangle because in a right angle triangle, this rule has to apply. So let's check the numbers. Six squared is 36, eight squared is 64. And if this works out to be true, it's a right angle triangle. So 36 plus 64 adds to 100. 100 does equal 100. So therefore we would say it is a right angle triangle. So that proof was we square the lengths of the two shorter sides, add them together, and if they equal the squared, the length of the longest side squared, right, mathematically, then we can assume and we've proven that it is a right angle triangle. Let's try one more example using the exact same ideas. Is this a right angle triangle? Looks like it. I've got two shorter sides and a longer side here. If this was a right angle triangle, this would be true. One side squared plus the other side squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So let's take our numbers. One side is, well, here's my hypotenuse. Technically, okay, may or may not be once we prove it, but it is definitely the longest side. So that's the one we use for the hypotenuse. I'm gonna take these numbers. One side plus the other side, and the hypotenuse was 7.3. So I'm going to square them. So if I square these two numbers and add them together, do I get this squared? Well, let's put them into our calculator because these are kind of hard to do in your head. And we get this. Now, if I add these two together, do I get this? Well, actually, no. When I add these together, I get 48.05. Now, this does not equal this, okay? So no, it is not a right angle triangle because these two numbers do not match. That's our process for proving if something is a right angle triangle if we're given the three measurements. All right, hopefully that all made sense to you. Well done.